Hey hey, welcome to Saturday Shorties. Today, for the first time, we're gonna be looking at a toy that's part of a combiner team. But uh, don't get your hopes up, I don't own any complete combiner sets, so you're not gonna see the big dudes anytime soon. Here's a little dude though. Meet Afterburner. This figure was released in 1987 with all original parts. Very orange parts, but hey, that's fine, it's not a G.I. Joe toy. And the silver, black and white go well with it. One thing I've always found hilarious with combiner limbs is how they all have such tiny heads. I know it's necessary for attaching to the leader, but it's still funny every time I see one. I'd say this is a nice looking small transformer, but only from the front. Sideways or from the back, jeesh, that's a lot of kibble. His two wheels just hang on his back like if Quasimodo was really into NASCAR. It's amazing he doesn't topple over. And no, the extra bit on the back of the legs doesn't stabilize him as it doesn't touch the ground. Also, it looks like he has separate legs from the front, but no, he doesn't. Articulation is very limited. He can move his arms 360 degrees, he can bend at the waist and bow his head. By the way, for some reason my toy has extremely stiff joints, to the point I'm afraid I'm gonna break it, so if this review cuts off all of a sudden, it means something snapped off. You transform him by bending his legs against the torso, rotate his arms 180 degrees, fold back his... I don't even know what you'd call this... his luggage compartment, and finally move down the wheels. And there you get a Cybertronian motorcycle. It's a pretty cool design. In this mode he has two accessories, a rocket launcher and a cannon. You can attach these to his sides, or, if you want to make him look very stupid, you can plug one of them in his nose. It... yeah, it's not a great look. Attached to the sides he becomes a great war machine though. Neither weapon works in robot mode, as the holes are too close to the ground. I mean, the rocket launcher kinda works, but the cannon really doesn't. In robot mode, he has yet another gun. Like last week's Quake Muffin, Afterburner's got guns for days. You may have noticed he doesn't have hands, like, at all. With most combiner figures, they try to at least sculpt something vaguely hand-like, but here it's just nothing. He does have holes to plug in his gun, though. Well, it has to go into the right arm, since it's upside down if you use the left one. He has a rub sign, as well as stickers, indicating he's an Autobot. Like last time, this is from my childhood, so it's missing some stickers. So, take it away, Transformers Wiki. Yeah, that's what he's supposed to look like. And that was Afterburner. It's a pretty cool toy in both modes. My only complaints are that they should have made all weapons usable in both modes, and he should have had some actual hands. I mean, giving a guy with no hands three guns? That's just cruel. For more information, like how he's a technobot that forms Computron, something I forgot to mention until now, check out the wiki. Well, I'll see you next time, everybody, and hey, why not like, share, and subscribe if that's your thing.